Okay, so we are on Independence of the Seas now. So we're gonna see if Elisa can eat healthy and exercise while on a cruise ship. First meal up, we are at Windjammer, which is a completely giant buffet. And I am very proud of myself that I got a salad. Unfortunately, I have Thousand Island dressing, which is not a very healthy dressing, but it was the only one I could find. It was that or ranch or like a honey mustard. But first meal of the cruise, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh yeah, promenade. Let's stop and check out the promenade. dressing up so we are at the windjammer for dinner I think I made some healthy choices I've got the um, roasted pork <coughs> geez that rice and beans are spicy okay so I got the roasted pork that they're carving fresh um, I got jerk chicken I got the rice and beans to go with the jerk chicken and it's spicy by the way I got sauteed vegetables that are in a jerk seasoning too some sauteed cabbage and then grilled vegetables from the grilled area veggies are good. Let's see if the pork's good. Ooh, that's much better. So I got pork last night in the main dining room and it was so dry I could barely cut it. Mm, that's much better. That's pretty good. Yeah. That? Protein paradise. Yeah, it is. So I got chicken. I got some uh, grilled flank steak, grilled vegetables, and some salmon. How's the salmon? It's a bit dry. But I like salmon, but I just don't. It's like superfood. It's got the omega 3s, and uh, it's really good for you. It makes you strong. Today we are on Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island. And let me tell you, you're gonna get plenty of exercise just walking around this place. Um, you walk off the ship down a long pier and then finding a beach chair when there's 8,000 plus people on the beach was a bit challenging. We had to walk basically to the back side of the island to find an available beach chair. And there are five of us today because we've got our friends with us. So we were trying to find a group of chairs. We found two together and then pulled two more into it. But we were in conference all morning, so we didn't arrive until lunchtime. So most of the people have already gotten their spots. Speaking of lunchtime, we're at Chill Grill and it's time to eat. And I remember from being here before that you can get a pretty good healthy taco salad but with like grilled chicken so that's my plan seagulls so the trick is you have to come to the condiments table first and get all of your lettuce then you can go get the meat then you come back to condiments and finish fixing your salad Okay, so I have found a pretty healthy option on Coco K. I have salad with grilled chicken or carnitas chicken, carnitas steak, 
a little bit of black beans, a little bit of cheese, and salsa. So a very good looking taco salad. If I do say so myself, it looks really, really good. Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. That meat's really well flavored. The salsa is good and fresh. That's gonna be, and it's it's a big portion, but you know, lettuce doesn't really have any calories. Salsa doesn't really have any calories. So I've got calories from the meat, the beans, and the little bit of cheese about to put on there. So good options. Healthy. Well, good morning. It is the last day of the cruise. And I have not got to record as much as I wanted because I've been at a conference all week and I've been so busy. It's been like whirlwind crazy. We've barely recorded anything, you know, for the vlogs either because it's been so busy. But let me show you what I've had for breakfast every morning of this cruise. I've had these little egg ham and cheese omelets with a little bit of fruit. I've eaten this every day. For lunch every day, I've had a salad. Even on Coco K, had a, um, a really good salad on Coco K, actually. And for dinner, I have ordered the best items on the menu. Have I cheated some? Yes. I had, let's see, dessert-wise. They put cupcakes in my room. You had only one, though. But I only ate one out of the four cupcakes. And then for our farewell dinner last night slash award ceremony, they had this massive cake. It was like the size of a table. And I had a slice of that, but I didn't eat the whole piece. So yes, I've cheated a little bit. But let me tell you where my real weakness came in this week. It was the pizza. It was the pizza. I'm a pizza girl, I love pizza. And I'll tell you, the food has not been great on this ship. So I'll go to dinner, I'll eat a little bit, and I'm like, mmm, a couple hours later, that pizza's looking real good. So, not every night, but some nights I did splurge and have some pizza. So not a perfect cruise, but not a bad cruise at all. I definitely ate a lot less than I normally would. I think you're making progress. Jason says I'm making progress, so I'm happy with that. I did not get to exercise any, again, because the conference, it was so busy, but I took the stairs almost every time unless I had to go like, you know, six or eight flights. So, proud of myself there. And um, we are getting off the ship. You can see all the people ready to get off the ship. And we are headed to Disney for a couple of days. So we'll see how I eat at Disney. Definitely gonna walk at Disney. <laughs> Well, good morning from Disney World. So we are at Fort Wilderness, which is the campground here. I have leaves falling on me. There is Ellie in the background and our e-bikes. We arrived yesterday, didn't record anything because we were exhausted from the cruise. And we just relaxed around the campground, went to the pool, rode the bikes. These e-bikes are going to add a level of exercise to us because we have decided instead of so how Fort Wilderness works is this place is so big there's an internal bus that runs around that will take you to the main bus stop to go to the parks so we're gonna ride our bikes to that bus stop instead of taking the bus so I have made breakfast for us we have scrambled eggs for breakfast and we are about to get ready and head over to Animal Kingdom for the day well Animal Kingdom in the morning and then Magic Kingdom this afternoon. I think that's the plan anyway. Jason made a pine cone Mickey for our campsite. Isn't that awesome? Love, love, love these e-bikes and we're really about to ride them to the bus stop. Good morning, honey. Good morning. You ready to head to the parks? Yep. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. We got one leg quarter. We got about three ribs, a little helping of coleslaw, a little helping of beans, just enough to take the edge off. You don't want to eat too much in this heat. You don't want to go to sleep. A little rib. I like the sauce, it's real sweet.
and it's already ready. So literally in less time than I could have stood in that line and placed the order, my food's ready. So much. Can I get two waters, please? Two waters. He got us some extra, all right. <laughs> it's all good. So just just ask for the lettuce and the, the tomatoes, and he can make you a nice little salad. He'll give you plenty. Lots of extra. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. That should be enough lettuce, right? With three to spare. <laughs> Score. This is perfect. We got our. Ooh. Finished product right here. Looks pretty good, huh? So two things. Number one, this is a healthy meal. So we're eating, you know, vegetables and meat, and not eating the tortillas, really good. Number two, it's cost saving. So this there's enough meat on this that if you make two of these salads or one person eats a salad and one person eats the tortillas, two people can share this for 16 bucks. So this is one of the more affordable meals in Disney World. And it's filling. And it's good too. Good morning, day two here at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds, and we are going to Epcot. Epcot! But first, I have to show you something. We had a pretty nasty fall last night coming back from the trading post. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a nice bruise right here. Bruise right here. See. She's got bruises all over. Oh, right, right here. here. Big old bruise there. Scrape here. And then both my knees. This one's really bad. It was bleeding like that crazy. That was a pretty good scratch. Yeah. So here's what happened. Yesterday, we went to Magic Kingdom. We watched the beautiful fireworks. We came back, got on our bikes, and we're riding back to the campsite. It was really dark outside. We do have um, lights. lights on the bike, but you still couldn't see really well. But the bike paths here are really good, except one area where it's in front of a building, and so you're going around sidewalks like this. And Jason even said, sharp turn coming, and I, I made the sharp turn, but after I made the turn, my bike veered to the right off the bike path. And when I was trying to get back on the path, which has... Ledge. A ledge of like this, the side of my tire hit that ledge and I went, Pff. and when I went, Pff, there was a big wooden fence there and my face went Pff, on the wooden fence. So I hit here and here and here, and then my knee was underneath the bike. Bike's fine. Yeah, the fence was made out of logs. Yeah, log fence. My face hit, made direct contact with two of the logs. <sighs> well, sore. Yeah, a little sore today. I got a big old bruise on my arm. I swear I am not big bobo very on my knee. <laughs> no. So, Food and Wine Festival used to not start until September, but now it starts in July. So, we are about to go hit the food booths and get something for lunch. Here's this and have a great rest of your day. All right, sweet and spicy shrimp. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, with the pineapples and the peppers and these little beans or peas, snap peas. Very crunchy, sweet. That's good. I enjoyed that. Try the snack peas and the, yeah, peppers and the pineapple. Mm. Mm hmm Let's start. What a great first booth. So we've never had the Austra anything from the Australia booth before. That's delicious. Yep. So hot. Remember, ice water is always free at Disney. <laughs> 
So the food booth in Canada has a La Cellier, which is their steakhouse here, filet with mushroom truffle. I'm gonna go get us one, be right back. Here she comes. That was super fast. Oh that looks my good. gosh. That looks delicious. That looks totally delicious. Ooh, it's cutting super easy. See, that's how a filet is supposed to cut, like butter. Mm. That's a good filet. Good? Mm-hmm. I think we're probably going to have to just keep going back and getting a bunch of these. Eat it <laughs> over and over and over again. Ooh! It's mm. so good. Super, super tender. Mushrooms? That's my favorite so far. But that's, man, two for two so far. Food Wine are, Festival. Man, loving it. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna go with the smoked corned beef hash. Yeah, that looks pretty good right up Jason's alley. Yes. Wow, looks really good. Some kind of, what was it, the cheese sauce? Like a blue? It said cheese? cheese curds. Yeah, cheese curds. Okay, yes. Here's here's one of the curds right here. And then they got these like... It has beer cheese on top of it. It's got some pickled onions, it looks like. And with potato chips. Those like awesome nachos. <laughs> Good. Oh man, it's incredible. I love food and wine festival. <laughs> Is that a pickled onion? Yep. Pickled onion? Yep. Yeah, pickled onions. Like twice cooked potato chips. They have the consistency of like if you've ever had voodoo chips. They're very delicious. Build me a little bite here. Get one of them cheese curds up there on there. Good. That is really good. So you've got the warm liquid cheese and then the cheese curds are like little nuggets of cold cheese. That's yum. That's really yum. That's really yum. Well, that is a wrap for this week. Man, what a busy week. Independence of the Seas, Disney World. We walked a lot between the ship and Disney. Literally 17,000 steps yesterday. We ate pretty good. We did cheat some, but overall we ate really good on this trip. <clears throat> I find that sometimes I can eat better on the road than at home because you just make good choices. So we are head getting an Ellie and heading back to the house now, and we'll see you next time. Bye.